Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Battleground Games Live. Hello. What? Am I blowing things up? Oh, you're no, saying hello. I said hello. hello. I thought you were saying whoa. Wow. <laughs> Hi, guys. Do I really do that? Well, that's what I, I thought you were saying. Anyways. Nope. Welcome no, to I the loft at Battleground Games and Hobbies in Abington, Massachusetts. I can't hear or see anything because, because the you're chat not doing that thing. Well, no, because it's buffering. Oh, okay. Um, the net here at the store has not been awesome today. Yeah. Um, just FYI. So I am not monitoring the sound in the chat tonight because my feed is buffering every few seconds. So it is impossible for me to actually accurately monitor. It would drive me up the wall to up try and be listening to the feed and have it cut out every few seconds. Um, the net here just is not, not, not robust, robust. Yeah. today. <laughs> so yeah. Partially this may be because downstairs, we're up in the loft, but downstairs they are preparing for the Rivals of Ixalan pre-release, which is going on tonight. And that is a huge, big tournament. And I suspect a lot of people are logged in and using their phones. What's up? You're playing green. Oh. I'll yes. play green. You can play yellow. <laughs> I mean, we can trade boards. I, well, I, this I, board I, is nicely positioned, so yeah. we'll leave it. Okay. I'll play green. You'll play green. All You're right. going to be going first, and I'll oh, explain okay. why in a couple of moments. All right. So before we get to the game, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about the stream and stuff. Amanda's yeah. been streaming some painting, I streamed, which has been uh, super fun, and we've had some people watching and participating. I will show off my uh, models. Yeah, tonight. we can show those Once off on the Once we turn the, the dock cam on, camera. I'll take them out of their little box and take um, them off. We do have a new camera for our primary yeah. view, so tell us in the chat well, if it looks better. I suspect it is, it, from the testing we did before we went live, it was looking a lot better. Yeah, it looks a lot clearer. We still have a lot of glare. Um, lighting yeah. is definitely our next. Lighting is something we're going to continue to work on. Yeah, it's, um, it's sort of the next thing that we're aiming to improve. And um, we did not have a survey for this week. Because, survey Monkey was down. Yeah, Survey Monkey was down. It's up now, so we will be posting a survey at the end of tonight's stream. So if you stick around to the end of the stream, we'll be putting up a survey then, so you can vote on what we're going to play next week. And um, I also wanted to say thank you to a couple new subscribers. Yeah! Because since last Friday, we've gotten three new subscriptions. Uh, We've got Captain Brian, Brian Magnuson, uh, who is a longtime friend of the store. He subscribed during Amanda's stream last week when she was painting some Fallout minis. Yeah. Oh, I like your shirt. Thanks. Uh, and we've got uh, Lobster of Revenge subscribed. I do not know who that is. I don't know who that is either, but, but welcome and yes, thank you. Yes, thank you for joining us, Lobster of Revenge. And then we have our friend Nate. Nate Tedusca? Nate Tedusca? Nate Tedusca? Our friend Nate, uh, who subscribed, I think, this morning. So we've got three new subscriptions. Yay! Yay! That means we've hit our sub goal, and we have to schedule a bonus stream. Yeah, we do. Because we promised when we hit our sub goal of five subs, we were going to do a bonus stream. We're there now. Yes, we it's are. It's a start. Uh, so we're going to be streaming uh, Cursed Court which we got as a uh, pre-release bonus and never had a chance to stream, so we're going to be doing that at some point. Um, and we're probably going to be doing more painting at some point. Yeah, I have um, a bunch more figures to paint. Well, Battleground is starting a painting and modeling competition here in the Abington store, which begins next Saturday the 20th. Yeah. I think that's next Saturday. Uh, it might be next Friday, but that's going it's to be next Saturday. okay. That's going to be a two-month painting and modeling competition. Uh, the theme is Winter's End because so it ends on the vernal equinox, so the spring equinox. Uh, so that's a hard limit. Yeah, we ran no into extension. some problems with our last painting and modeling competition. 
because we gave an extension at the last minute and it wasn't very fair to people who got their things in on time. Uh, but this one is ending on March 20th, which is the vernal equinox. Yes. Uh, so the reason I bring that up is I'm going to be painting on stream and building on stream. Yep. I suspect Amanda will be. Probably. I have I have thoughts for a winter's end model. I have an idea. <laughs> so we'll see what we come up with and what we're building. Uh, in the meantime, because it's just the two of us tonight, we decided to play a popular two-player game. Yeah. We're going to play Patchwork, which is a game that is only for two players. It was intended for two players and is always yeah. a two-player game. The whole point. It, uh, we've got several good two-player games in the store, but this is one of the most recommended ones. Amanda yeah. has tried it out before playing it solo. So I tried playing it against myself just to see what the mechanic was like. Um, and something that I found really curious, may I see the instructions? Yeah. Maybe? When you go to score, um, you, end, you can end up with a negative score. Yeah, the, because at the end of the game, your score is based on a couple of different things. Yeah. Uh, one of which is uh, how many buttons you have, but you get negative points for blank space on your board. Yeah. So you can end up with a negative score at the end of the game. And from what I've heard, that's not an unusual thing. And I'm not sure how I feel about a game that has a common end game state in the negative numbers. Not we'll sure find out that. how things yeah, go today. We'll see. So I'm going to switch cameras All right. and show folks what the game looks like. And you can show off your figures before yeah. we start playing. So Amanda's going to show off the figures she's been painting. Let's uh, swoop into live game capture here. So there I've been doing are. the figures for the Fallout board game. And if you look in the lower right-hand side, Amanda's got the document camera there. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on the feed here. We're a few seconds delayed. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure that you can see my little dude. I think it's focused on the board and not the dude. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm going to, like, I, I can't fix that until I yeah. see it on the stream. Oh, he's actually not bad. So he's uh, the Brotherhood of Steel outcast. And he's done. So these are the figures for the Fallout board game that we played a couple of times on stream. Amanda and Sarah played it during her birthday celebration yep. that we streamed. Uh, and we played it before that as well. Yeah, we had played it a few times. Um, I really like the Fallout board game. I really enjoy it. I love playing it solo. Uh, Sarah and I played it as a team. Um, so we played two player, but we played like co-op two player, which was ended up being really fun because you end up being able to tell the story you want to tell, which is really cool. So yeah. Um, and then the one that I was working on this morning, or this afternoon, I guess. I'm just gonna see if he's nicely in, in frame, or if he is, uh, is the Vault Dweller who I determined is wearing the armored vault suit. And you can get a vault 13 armored vault suit. Uh, you could get that as a pre-order, uh, like special DLC thing for New Vegas. So I decided that he was definitely gonna be a vault 13 uh, armored vault suit wearer. And he is carrying a special Hunting rifle, old painless, which is held together with duct tape and love. Yeah. Um, so he's almost done. He needs some highlighting. He needs some detail work. I want to really get in there on his uh, his shoulder guard here and make sure that that's he's nice and fine details and weathered stuff. and stuff, so it looks like it's all polished in places where it's you know rubbed up against things. Um, for whatever reason, I missed wash, getting a wash on the back of one of his legs, just at the cuff. I need to clean up his boots a bit and put a flesh wash on his face so that 
the details of his face come out. I decided earlier today that he basically looks like Scott Bakula. I don't know if you can see that on screen, but it is yeah, quite shocking. He, he does look a lot like, he looks Scott, like Scott Bakula. Bakula. It's, it's kind of eerie. So Admiral Archer yeah. as a vault dweller. So he's almost done. He's getting there. And I started doing base coats for my super mutant. So my super mutant is, uh, he's got his skin done. And I did the rags over his shoulders. Andy figured out that he's wearing the uh, shoulder rag armor. And I did find the loincloth that he's wearing as well. I found a picture of that. Though, annoyingly, the picture I found of the loincloth he's wearing with all these like dangly bits is actually a picture of a totally different pair of gauntlets. Oh, weird. So it doesn't show the entire detail of the loincloth. Uh -huh. It's the gauntlets that are the focus of the picture. So, yeah, I need to find out what loincloth that is. It's not the one Strong starts out wearing. Amanda is a big fan of finding uh, reference and yeah. painting from reference. Uh, I have been, in my painting, trying to be very original in the things that I'm painting and coming up with my own colors. Well, that's because you're pl you're painting your own army. Yeah, exactly. So that's a different thing. These and, are, and you know... The last painting and modeling competition I did a bard and I was like yeah yeah I got to choose my own colors for her and stuff this is a very different situation where these are meant to be recognizable in the canon that they came exactly. from exactly um, which is true for all of the things that I've done it's true for labyrinth it's true for fallout it's true for the talisman game I want them to match the card that they go with I don't want you to get the card and then go looking for the figure and be like, I don't know what this is because it doesn't at all match the color scheme. Unfortunately, that does lock me into annoying things like that stupid minstrel. Yeah. It's pink with white was... stripes. <laughs> so bad. Um, but it also means that it is recognizable to the card. So that's my, my aim. So... Now that I've shown those off, yep. um, I have my board here, yep. so I'm going to be playing right here, and Andy's over there, so you yep, can my see board him is overhead. On camera as well. um, I do think that the overhead camera is a lot clearer. We do have it's a little bit fuzzy, but it's definitely not as yeah. fuzzy as it used to be. The new camera is definitely better. It's a step up. So, all right. We could probably move it in a little bit when we yeah. get a better camera rig, but we're getting there. Uh, so shall rig, we talk rig is about incoming, so. how Patchwork works as a game? Yeah, so Patchwork, the idea behind it is that you're buying pieces off the board. And as you buy pieces off the board, you are filling in your quilt with them. Um, and as someone who likes Tetris and also quilts, I really like the idea of this game. I'm just not entirely sure, certain I like the mechanic of it, but since I'm playing with an actual other person this time, yeah, that not may work out better. Yourself. Yeah. So the way that things work in this game is there are several, uh, there are two basic mechanics going on. There's drawing pieces off the board, which is just yep. random. These are little Tetris pieces. We just, we, we you just dump them out of the box and then and you make a, make a circle with them. With them. Yep. Uh, we always start next to this two piece. Yep. So we've already put our starting piece there. That indicates what pieces you can choose from. Uh, whoever is playing has two different things that they can possibly do. Yep. One is move their token forward on this board. This little spiral board here is the counter for the game. When we both reach the middle here, the game is over and we count up points. Yes. Um, so if you are behind the other player, uh, Amanda's green and I'm yellow, so say I was here and Amanda was here, she could move forward to be ahead of, of me without taking any pieces from the circle, and she would get one button for each space she moves forward. That's one of the possible moves that she can take. Yep. The other possible move you can take is you can stay where you are and buy a piece out of the ring. Yeah. Uh, from this little round guy here, you can buy any of the next three pieces clockwise from that piece. Yep. And each piece, if you want to show one off on the document camera, 
each piece has two pieces of information on it. One is how many buttons it costs to buy, and the, the other is how much you move forward on this board when you buy it and place it. So that's some of them that's also the have oh have buttons yes buttons on them which helps in scoring later. Well, it earns you buttons. Yeah. You, you need buttons in order to buy to pieces. Buy. And the way to get buttons is either moving forward without buying something, yep, or buying something and moving forward. If you pass one of these buttons on the board, you earn a button for every button on your play piece. I so don't know if I explained that well. It behooves you to get pieces with buttons on them. Yes. Relatively early because you want to get those but start earning those buttons faster. Exactly. Um. And there's also patches. five little patches here on the board. When you pass a patch, if you're the first person to pass it, you get that patch, and it's a one by one. That's the only one by ones. Yeah. And you they can fill use that to fill up an empty space. The first person to build a seven by seven grid on their map gets the seven by seven point uh, which is token, worth a lot of buttons. which is worth seven buttons at the end of the game. So, that's the mechanics. Yeah. Now, the actual gameplay. And Amanda, I said you go first. Yep. Because according to the rules, the last person to use a needle <laughs> goes first. <laughs> that would and be me. That was definitely you. I, I don't think we count the safety pin you were using this morning while you were painting. No, but I also mended, um, what did I mend the other day? I mended a pair of socks. Yeah, the other day. that definitely used to need So, yeah, I, so I darned some socks. It is your go. All right. Now, you don't have the option of just moving forward on the board and getting buttons. Yeah, I have, so to, buy have to buy something. So you have to buy something. And you have three options. One that costs three buttons, one that costs two buttons, and one that costs one button. Yeah. I think I'm going to take the one that costs two buttons. It's a pain in the butt um, to place but it's definitely the better. It only moves me forward one, um, which gives us more time to continue playing the game. Sure. And um, it's not super expensive. And uh, yeah, it's, this one is cheaper, but it advances me further. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this one. You can place it anywhere on your board. I'm going to place it here. Okay. And you put this where it was. Yes. Yep. Now, it is my move. If yes. You always move until you are caught up to the person in front of you on this board. Yep. So you can get multiple moves, multiple buys, so long as yeah. you're st you stay caught up. So, okay. Amanda's done. Yep. Now it is my move. Oh, you move oh, forward. Oh, and I move forward by one. By one. Now it is my move. And I am going to buy... I can't buy that second piece because it costs seven buttons and I've only got five. Yeah, it's a lot of buttons. I'm going to spend all my buttons and get that cross. This one? Yep, it costs five buttons. That so moves now you I'm ahead broke. four. Yep, I'll move ahead four. I'll put this here on my board. I did not pass that, so I don't collect $200. Uh, Amanda, it is your turn because you're behind me on the wheel now. Yes, I am. So I can't afford either of these. I can't afford any of these, actually, because this is eight, this is ten, and this is six. So your only option then is to scoot forward past me. Yep. I want to double check this rule. So um, advance and receive buttons. Move your time token on the board so that it occupies the same, uh, the space directly in front of your opponent. You receive one button per space that you moved. One, two, three, four. Aha! Now you have also passed this, but you have no buttons on your board, so you earn nothing. So but I get you get four buttons. There you are. Now, I, oops. You okay? Um, I think I'm short a button. It's on the table next to your fork. Ah! Okay. Now I am behind. Pretty fortune. So I could either move forward two spaces and get two buttons, 
or attempt to purchase something. Obviously, I can't purchase anything because nope. I have no buttons. I spent them all. So I'll move forward to earn two buttons. And then two I more also buttons. passed that. I have two buttons on my board, so I get two more buttons. Now I have four buttons, and it's Amanda's turn. Yeah. Well, now I have um, seven buttons. Yeah, you have a, quite a few buttons. So I could spend six of them and get this, which would put two buttons on my. Um, I think board? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to spend my six buttons. Okay. Get this one. I don't think there's any rule that says it has to touch something else on the board, so you could put it on the opposite corner. Yeah, I could like do yeah. this or do that, but I want that seven by seven. Yeah. Sound is crackling, says Sith One. Uh oh. Okay. I can fix that. We went so hey, long without that. Thank you for mentioning. Yeah, we went for ages with me monitoring the the chat and hearing no crackling. Yeah, and, there and was then none of course, this morning. Yeah, we didn't have any today. Give me a sec. All right. I any better? Think that should fix it. Hopefully we'll that's fixed. Yeah, I can't monitor the sound tonight because the the internet in the store yeah, is not sufficient the to the task. Yeah, the net here tonight is, uh, it's, it's being cranky, and I'm buffering a lot, so I can't really be monitoring it. But thank you for telling us. Yes, and welcome back. Yes. Because Sithwin was a person who was watching you uh, last Saturday, right? Yeah. Yeah. I did some more I, I remember painting you guys earlier today, Sithwin. Um, talking about uh, Welch. Yes, talking about language. Although Sithwin is from the Elvish. Yes. Yeah, yeah, um, I remember that. Yeah, I did some more painting earlier, so there is a VOD of that, if you want to take a peek. Um, All right, uh, you need to move that to yes, the I place. Yes, I do. Yeah. It moves uh, okay. here. So now I have options. What are the things? There's a four that gets me no buttons and moves me forward two. Yep. There's a three that moves me forward one. And how much is that big, huge piece? It's one. It moves you forward four spaces. I think I want that. Okay. So I'll spend one button. Yep. I get that. I'll put it here. And I move forward four spaces. Wrong oh, joke. Oh, uh, this is me. Wait, why did I move if I'm ahead of you? You didn't move forward when you bought your piece. Oh, I didn't. I was supposed to move five. Okay. Okay. I move forward four. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting circumstance. Yeah. I land atop you, which means yep. it is my turn again. Yes. Uh, so I have three buttons now. That can get you this or nothing. I'll buy that. That seems good to me. I'm out of buttons again, but I'm about to pass a button thing. Looking ahead. How far forward do you go? Uh, I move forward three. And you get, uh, so you get... Four buttons. Four buttons. I am no longer out of buttons. I'm liking this. Although I'm, I'm, I may have, I've already, I'm at a risky space because I've already filled all the way to the edge on this side. Yeah. How far is this? One, so two, three, I only four, have five, one six, button. seven. Only got the one. One button. One button. So that's not enough to buy anything that's on the board right now. So I am going to move. Okay. So I move one, two, three... Four, yep, so I get plus four, two more. plus two more, so I get six. Uh, six buttons. Thank you. And back to me. Yes. All right. Uh, I need to start filling some space on my board. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Uh, I feel like... I want, it, that thing costs 10 buttons. Yeah, that one it does. With three buttons costs 10? Yep. Urgh, I, I kind of wanted that too. Yeah, well. Um, but this one costs two buttons. I think I'm gonna buy that. And, uh, and that I can flip it ahead. over, so I'll put it here. And, yep. yeah. and that moves you three spaces. Yes, perfect. Your turn. All right. 
So I now have five, six, seven buttons. Hey, thank What's you, up? Sithwin. <gasps> we got a sub. Yay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, so I, I didn't have my hear the notice that no, I must have turned that way down. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I have five, I have seven buttons. And this, the piece I really want is actually right there. It's this one. Yep. That's so I'm going to go ahead and one whole button. spend a button, take that, move that to there. And I am going to put this ah. here. You are the Tetris master. I yeah, well, good at depending on if I get the pieces I need yeah, is the exactly. trick. Um, and you move forward. And I move forward. Um, so I'm moving forward five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, just short of getting yeah. the one by one. All right, So, but you do earn some buttons. Yes, I do. You earn so three? I earn three buttons. You paid one, earned three. That seems like a good deal. That's the deal. So, Sithwin, do you understand how we determine who goes next? Because it doesn't just trade back and forth. No. It depends on who's further back on the track here. Which is why I got two turns last time, is because I moved forward, landed on top of you, and then got to go again. Yep. All right, I have two whole buttons uh, in front of us. You can get that H or that straight. Yeah, I can get that H. There's only a couple places I can put that, but that could be worth it. Moves me forward three. That cross is free. You're right. That costs nothing, gets me a button, and moves me forward three. That's interesting. Three pieces. I think it's because it's a pain. But I can certainly place that. Uh, one, two, three. That puts me on top of you, so I would get another move. Yep. I think that's the play. That's definitely the play. Although this also gets me three spaces, and it's... That H is pretty good. Yeah. One, two, three. And then I would be able to buy this in the same turn. I think I buy this instead because this gets me another button on yeah. my board so that's free I flip it over I put it here this goes why here. bother flipping it uh, it was oriented this way oh I could just turn it, it yeah difference. I wasn't sure what <laughs> anyways I'm putting it there now I want that H but or no the H would go off the end of the board so I'm okay yeah um, I move forward three so I get some buttons mm-hmm and I'm on top of you again. Yep. Uh, I get one, two, three, four, five, six <laughs> buttons. Yeah, the rules are a little, um, yeah. I mean, once you start playing, it's pretty easy to pick up, but yeah. Yeah, I think I described it rather poorly uh, because I was sort of, you know, I've read the rules and I understand them, but then trying to tell you how they work, yeah. was, I was confusing even myself. All right, so I get to go again. Yeah, you do. What do I have in front of me now? I have this big long piece that costs seven buttons. I have this T that costs five buttons. See, and this is my this problem is getting, buttons. I feel like we're gonna, when I played by myself, I felt like I, I hit the end of the board yeah. and I hadn't had a chance to get Good. enough pieces yeah. to not have tons of empty space. Yeah. Which is how you ended up with negative points. Exactly. And I'm honestly not sure how I feel one, about two, that. It, three, it just four, five, six. I need to go out one more. It just this ends up way. making me feel like uh, To reiterate, we're trying design. to get a seven by seven space filled to get this tile, which is worth yeah. seven points. Uh the big long piece would fit here, I believe. The T I could put here or here. I think that T is probably the best bet for me. I think it is. I'm going to buy that T. Uh, it costs five. So zoop. Zoop. Move this up here. And where's the best place to put this? If I put it here, I've trapped myself with two empties here. And you have to hope that you get that, and I don't. Uh, well, also, I'm going to get a one by one. But you have to I hope that you get two of them. Yeah, to fill exactly. Both of those. I could alternatively put it up here. 
and then I'm not blocking myself in anywhere. Whoa, whoa, there's my whole board falling apart. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to put it there. I move forward five. Okay, I get a patch, and I have to place that. I'm going to put that here. There we go. And I get some buttons. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Right. I think you're winning this because I barely have anything on my board. You've just taken a whole bunch of turns. Yeah, twice like now double I've turns. been able to double turn. At, this, see, this is what I mean. I'm really not sure about this game. It just feels like it can get very one-sided very fast. Like hmm. if you look at Andy's board as opposed to my board, he's taken two double turns. And, and I've gotten the patch. It's just random what pieces I was or was not going to be able to afford based on what I had at the beginning. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like he's going to fill up his board and I'm not going to have anything. I don't know. Well, it's, it's kind of a demoralizing game for me to play. <laughs> so what do you have ahead of you? You have the big long piece yeah. with one button. Yeah. Uh, you have this which costs two, moves you forward two and gets you nothing really. Yeah. Although it does fill space on your board. Uh, and you've got I this can't afford that, L, so I don't which care is about ten, it. yeah. And you have nine. Yeah. So this moves you forward one and costs seven. Yeah. Hmm. And it would open up that which costs seven. That doesn't help you much. Nope. Like it j I'm I'm looking at the pieces and I'm looking at what I need and there's like I think the play is I'm to buy the two, and then it opens up this piece. Because if you buy the two, you're you're going to get a second turn. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if I buy the two or the seven, I get a That's second true. turn. That's true. Either one of them is neither of them is going to move me as far as I need to move. How many pieces you have? Nine. Yeah. So you could buy both. You could yeah. get the seven. I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to get the seven. The one that costs seven and moves you forward one. Seven. So I'm going to go forward one. This is tricky. I want to see what it says about placing the patch. It says, the patches on your quilt board may not overlap. You may turn the patch any way you like before placing it on this your quilt one. board. Yeah, it does not specify that it has to touch anything else on the board. Thunder Speaks, hello. Oh, greetings. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat. So, Sithwin, <laughs> the problem is, it is random where the pieces are when you start. Because what you do is you dump them out of the box, and then you just arrange them in a circle randomly. Yeah. So, I started first, but what started next to me was random. So starting first without being able to buy anything is a bit of a problem. Or starting first and having a very limited selection or something that doesn't move you very far does start to really limit your choices. So the way it works is you dump the pieces out of the box when you start. Yep, you make you a circle. You arrange them in a circle randomly. And, and you, you start, start right in front of this little one by two. So wherever that ends up, you start right in front of it. And then you can buy from the next three pieces. So it is random what ends up in front of you. And then as you move the piece, the token for what pieces are available moves to whatever piece was last purchased. So, yeah, there there is a randomness to it that is, yeah, because of where I ended up being and what was available my second turn, there was like a six, an eight, and a ten. And yeah, that was harsh. If I couldn't move forward my first turn, so I had to buy something, and my choices of what to buy were not great. Um, but In I theory, bought something and that made Andy able to purchase something that gave him another turn 
and he's yeah. now leagues ahead of me. Um, well, let's see what happens. You, you have to yeah. place this thing somewhere. You're gonna put it there. I hate that I'm wasting this, but I don't want to close off this space here because mm. I want to be able to extend out in yeah. places. Because if I close it off here, then I have to be able to purchase like that yeah. or this. I have to. Yeah. Like I don't have a choice there. Well, um, uh, and you move forward. Did you already move forward? Not yet. Okay. Um, I moved that, but I yep. haven't moved myself forward. So I move one. So you're still behind me, which means you get another turn. Yep. So now I'm going to purchase this little two buttoner. Yep. So you've which spent wipes all your me out. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, you want to, you know, be secretly strategizing about where you're. Uh, oh, definitely. You've got to be looking well, ahead. Well, no, on no. Seth one was saying um, it's a sleight of hand for the circle setup. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna okay. put that here. Okay. Leaves a lot of stuff open for you. Lots of options. Exactly. That's my hope. This moves forward. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, how far do you go forward? I go two forward. Okay. One, two. You Which means get I'm some buttons. Now, yeah, I am now behind you, but that means I now get to move ahead of you, which means you're going to get that other patch. You get four buttons. Yeah. Here you are. And you can uh, Oh, you could buy this I L. I could buy that L. And I actually really want that L, so I am going to buy that L. So I'll put those four <laughs> buttons right back. There they go. So you buy and that L for that. four buttons. And that goes... Oh, I hear people on the stairs. That goes right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that was actually really useful. And you move forward six. Yes. Which means you're getting that patch now. Yeah, so one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six, which means I also get buttons. So you get the patch. Yep. And you get six buttons. Yeah. I'm actually going to put this right here. Okay. It's not fitting in. Yeah, this was the eh. the demo copy. It's right there. It and goes there. I think there. it's not Cut perfectly punched perfectly, out. Yeah. There's several pieces that tore slightly when I was punching them out. The comeback. I don't know if it's fully a comeback, but it definitely puts me in a more comfortable space at the moment. Yeah, I'm way behind her now, which means I may get a couple of different buys. I've got 10, 11 buttons available to me because I've got a lot of buttons on my board, and every time I pass the, the button marker, I get stuff. So what are my options? I've got a four cost L, a one cost U. I wish you could save the patches until later. Yeah. That would be super, super useful because I don't know if that's going to end up hurting me later. And I can buy this five cost weird big shape. I think there's only one place I could even put that on my board now. That thing is yeah, it's huge. not super useful to me. I think I need this U. I think you do. So that costs me one button. I'm going to spend a button. Yep. Take that U. And I move forward two. I'll put this U here. Which puts you behind me. Yep. Uh, so I get to go again. Yep. Now I've got a five cost big weird piece that cannot go anywhere on my board. I can't use that. A one that. and that two. The one... Can I even place that? I could put it here, I guess. I could put it there, or I could put it here. That... That's not a bad move for me. And the two is the two by two. Right. Or the one by two. The one by two, yeah. Or I could get both. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to spend one to get that big weird piece. That moves me forward two. I'm going to put this here. Now I can buy... I'm, by, I'm still behind you. Yes. Okay. You also have this available and this available. I think... I think I'm going to buy that... No, the further forward one. That one there for one. All right. I'm going to put that here. And that moves you... Uh, three. One, you get buttons. Okay. 
two, one, three. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons. Yep. Nice. And now I'm behind you. It's your move. Yes. So now I have this seven, which I can't afford, this eight, which I can't afford, and this ten, which I can't afford. So we're back to uh, where I was yeah. a ways back, which yeah. is really irritating. Except to move forward ahead of Andy means I get that patch. You do get the patch. And I get three more buttons. Three more buttons. Okay. Here you are. Thank you. And I need to figure out where I'm putting this little single thing. Yeah. Looking ahead on the board, knowing that I'm going to have to buy a piece. Yeah. I mean, I could. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it. So I hope Thunder Speaks is enjoying yeah. watching us from inside the building. The I'm call is coming from inside put the that building. Over here, because there isn't much that's long enough to go along here, and I already used that here, yeah. so I'm putting this up here. Okay. To fill in a little bit in hopes that I can get something that's three across to go across here or two to go here. All it's right. my hope. Fingers crossed, folks. So what are my options? I have a T that costs You have a T seven. for seven. You have this weird blocky thing for eight. Which I don't think I can use. And I, you have this other weird blocky thing I'm beginning to get ten. into a place where I can't place pieces. I mean, you can. Yeah, I, I'm getting close though. But it's Getting weird. close to a place where yeah. there are pieces I cannot put on my board anymore. I'm gonna go for the T. Okay. It costs seven. seven. Here we are. And I'm going to put it here. I am close to getting that seven button piece. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you need a patch one, for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. You basically the, need that one. I need to fill this hole and then I get the seven by seven yeah. patch. Which is nice. Um, but again, it's getting tough for me. Did the, you move ahead yet? I did not move ahead. How many moved, spaces are you moving? Uh, two. Okay, it gets me nothing. All right, so now it's my turn. And this actually puts me in an excellent position because I really want this piece. Okay. So I am going to spend four buttons. Okay. And buy this piece. Ah, which well is gonna go done. Right in there. How far do you go forward? I go two, so. All right. Yeah, uh, that piece was like it perfect for where I was. Well, I definitely want that green piece. Yeah, I'm so sure that's you do. Three. And that gets you that seven by seven, right? Yep. So I get that. And that goes there. Yeah. But I'm going to have a hard time filling some of this. The yeah. rest of the space here. So we'll Whereas see I have this mountain exactly, of space yeah, here. Exactly, yeah. You filled out a corner. I filled from the center. Yeah. So I think you may have had the superior strategy. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, I don't I know. I move forward one. So I'm going okay. to top you. Now you get another turn. Yes. Uh, what, what would you my like? Options? So there's this seven cost here. Yep. Ten cost, three. The ten cost I cannot place. Yep. There is no place I can put that. The three... I could place, but it blocks a lot of stuff. So I think the the ten cost is my or is a seven, is seven cost. Oh, I don't have seven buttons. So you're just I gonna. I don't have six buttons. Nope. So it would be this one because you move can't forward. move forward. But you, I, you're with me, so you aren't can't move ahead of me. Or you. Well, no, move I would one move space. one space. I would get buttons. Yeah. And. Then it would be my turn. Then it would be your turn. So that one costs three. Yep. And it would block so much stuff if I buy it. Oh, this is tough. I think I'm just gonna move forward without buying anything. Okay. So I move forward. And you get I buttons. I get a whole bunch of buttons. One, you get a two, whole mess of buttons. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten buttons. I'm gonna take a ten button piece. Awesome. Okay. Now it's your turn. Yeah, now I have to buy from these. Uh, 
I think, uh, can I get water? two buttons back, please? Sure. You're buying a three cost? Yes, I am. Oops, sorry. Hmm. I think. Huh. I don't know. Filling that in would be hard. Maybe I should do... Ooh. That might be the play? I don't know. There's not really anything that can go in here. Right. Right. It's getting yeah. tricky now. You could put it... Yeah. It leaves you options. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. That moves me ahead four. Okay. One, two, three, four, and How I get buttons. buttons. Do you get? I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons, please. Okay. Here you are, seven buttons. And back to me, because I'm behind now. So uh, your options are this, this, or this. Yeah, not great, but I think this is the best buy for yeah, me I right now. Yeah, I think it now. is. So I'm going to buy that. Costs two buttons. And I place it here. Yeah, I, I really have, by building strictly from the center, I yeah. definitely put myself in an awkward position here. Uh, and I move forward two. So I get another move. Uh, so now this costs two buttons. This H is useless to me. Yeah. This is useless to me. So I have to I have to buy this or move forward two spaces. I'm going to buy this for two. Okay. And move forward two spaces. And I guess I'll fill this hole here. There we go. Yeah. That's nice. Pass to you. All right. Well, I can't get that 10 cost. This but is I a three could cost? get the three or the seven. This is a seven, yeah. Yeah. The seven has three buttons on it. It's pretty good. It moves you forward six, which I think would get you another patch. I think it does. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Five, six, seven. Yep. Can you move that there? Yep. And then I get a patch. Ah, ah, well placed. So that moves me six. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get the patch and you get a bunch of buttons. How many buttons do you get? So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten buttons, please. I'll give you two fives. Thank you. And it's my move. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I have access to this L, that giant five, and the little two. Yeah. I'm going to buy the L for four. I'm going to spend my ten, take six back, and... I mean, the L was my only option. Yeah. But the, I guess that's the best move? I'm not happy yeah. with this. Can I afford that? Oh, uh, that moves me forward two. You get I buttons? I get buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven buttons. Nice. Yeah. Now. <laughs> yeah, the points, I'm going to get dinged a lot because there's no way I'm going to have enough time to fill this in. Yeah. Uh, I could buy the little... Two, that moves me forward one, yeah. So I definitely do that. And fill up something back here. I'm almost to the point where I can't buy anything Yeah, anymore. you can't buy things. So I'm going to stick that here. Uh, then I'm going to move forward one. Thank you. And then I'm going to spend three. Yep. And that goes here. And now you get another turn. Uh, yeah. And I'm... Yeah, you can't buy I anything I can't buy else. anything else. There's nothing on the board I can buy. So I move forward one, get one button. All right. And it's your turn. So, 
it, the game is, I mean, you're the only person who can buy anything anymore. So now it's you and your Tetris skills. All right, I am spending 10. Yeah. To buy this. Nice. To put there. Okay. And that moves me ahead five, so it's now your turn. But you get buttons. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. How many buttons do you get? I Locks. get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, please. Nice. Okay. I'm I'm beginning to get some of the strategy here. Can I oh I, I can't buy anything, so I just move forward. Yeah. So you move one, one two, two, three, four. Five and you get a patch. Thank you. I'll put that patch on this corner here. And you get five buttons. And I also passed a button marker, so I yep. get a whole bunch more buttons. Yeah. Uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve buttons. Okay. Your move. Yeah. So I have 15 buttons. There's one more button space to pass. Yeah. I'm going to spend seven to buy this. Okay. So can I get three back, please? Here you are. How far does that, that move you? That moves me four. So that's one, two, three. Four, and that's the end. Yeah, you've reached the end. I still yeah. Move so I get two. buttons. Yep. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So yeah, my options there were this, which would have moved me fewer spaces, but that I can't really place. Mm. This, which I could have placed, but would have moved me exactly the same number of spaces. Actually, maybe I should have gotten that one. Because that would get me more buttons on the board. Does that get me points in the end? Does would it get you one more. It would have gotten you one more button just now. Yeah. Does how many point buttons you have at the end matter? Yes. Okay, then I'll do that. Okay. Because I think I can. It moves me the same amount of spaces. So. And I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. So it's it's the same either way. Yeah, the, it's a net equal. All right, I want to so see if... I'll go ahead and do that. All right, move your time token, special patch, special tile. The game ends after both time tokens reach the last space on the time board. Yeah, so you need to get there. Yeah, so, and I just move forward to you. Yeah, I get and one, get two, buttons. three buttons, and then a whole mess of buttons from my board. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm, I'm looking. I would have liked to be able to get this one last piece to fill in, but yeah. Yeah. And I get, uh, what 12. was it, 13, 12, 1, 2, 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So another 12 buttons. Yeah, Andy's got a whole mess of buttons. And then we count up our button total and subtract however many empty spaces are on our boards. So I'm just going to throw buttons back for each empty space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have two points. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's two <laughs> points for every empty space. I have negative points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I throw back Andy 14. definitely wins. I'm well into the negatives. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that was filling up your work. board is definitely the thing. And yeah, Andy, losing two points for every empty space. You ended up with more empty space even though Andy bought a lot of pieces early on and was able to fill up his board and I got stuck in a couple of situations where I, I couldn't buy anything. Yeah. And unfortunately, in order to buy anything, I had to be moving forward on the board, which made me end faster 
which in turn led to me being unable to buy more things on the board. Yeah. Um, honestly, I know this is a really popular game. Um, yeah, if you have a bad start, your button income stunts you too much. It, it There's no way to come back from not gaining the buttons and being able to buy pieces. You just can't come back from it. If you can't be buying pieces to fill your board, if your opponent is just taking little turn after little turn after little turn, which is what you were doing, yeah. you're buying all these pieces to fill up your board that were like low, high cost, but you were bringing in a lot of buttons. Yeah. And every time you bought one of those pieces, it further limited what I could do. And I just wasn't able to pick up the slack buying, buying things. I, I know this is a really popular two-player game. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like right. it. Yeah. I feel like it becomes one-sided very easily. And in a two-player game, that's a real problem. Yeah, I, I feel like it's really hard to come back. Like a lead there. and There was, there was no coming back for yeah. me on that. Um, I just, I don't, I don't really like it. I don't like it. Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> I didn't like it when I played by myself. I thought, man, this this seems really uneven. It seems like it's really, really hard to actually fill your board or even get close to it. Um, and I was right. It is yeah. really hard to actually even come close to filling your board. Um, and to build up enough buttons to not be in a deficit at the end of the game is really hard. Yeah. Um, and once one player opens up a, a lead, just yeah yeah hard to catch and up. the layout of the pieces if the layout of the pieces is such that one person is able to take like three turns in a row and be, buy like three pieces in the time and you're just sitting there buying nothing and they land you at a space where you can't afford anything yeah and then you have to move forward a bunch of spaces or even like one space so you get a button yeah so you don't even get that much out of it and they've you know sorry patrick i I don't like this game. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It's uh, it's it feels really uneven, and I don't like it. Don't enjoy it. I tried playing it by myself. Now I've played it two player. And you still don't enjoy it. Still don't enjoy it. And I love Tetris. Amanda. I love fitting things together and finding ways to fit blocks together. I feel like one person taking a bunch of little turns, you can't come back from it. Once your opponent takes three turns in a row and has bought three large pieces that take up a lot of space and has filled their board in a row and gotten buttons out of it, and then you get to move one space and you get a button and you're landed in a spot where you can't take anything, that sucks. That I see sucks. Thunder Speaks has followed us. Thank you for the follow, Thunder Speaks, if you're still watching. Yeah. Go, Go is definitely an interesting game. I have played it. Um, we don't have it in the, in the store. No. So, yeah, uh, I'm just, I'm not a fan. And I should be. I should be. I love, I like quilting. I actually do quilt. And I love geometry. I love fitting things together. I love uh, Tetris. And I just feel like the movement and payout mechanic of this game is, I don't like it. We should play something you do like. Like what? Do you have... No, I don't. Chrononauts in your bag? No. Oh. It's at home. Oh, well. Now, all I have That's in my not. bag is Murder of Crows. We could play Murder of Crows. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm kind of bummed about this game because I really wanted to like it. I yeah. really wanted to like this game, guys. I really, really did. Um, I, I was willing to give it a second shot. Andy was like, oh, it's just going to be the two of us tonight. Why don't we play Patchwork? And I was like, didn't like it when I played it by myself. I don't know. But I'll give it another go. Maybe playing it with another actual person will make me enjoy it. Not your game. And it's not so much, it's not that I lost. It's that I feel like it was really unbalanced. I felt like it was way too easy. If I had won that way and you yeah. had lost like that, I would feel really, really crappy about it. Like, I felt bad about winning that hard in um, King Domino. I was like, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That was epic, though. That was amazing. 
Go back and watch the YouTube clip of Amanda playing King Domino and building the giant ocean. But also, I, I feel have like you. That, I, that was my fault for not playing well. And there was strategy to that. I feel like this, the strategy is a really lot of luck. hard. Yeah. Because it's luck with the layout of the pieces, and mm, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it's too easy for one person to get multiple turns in a row, and that yeah. opens up such a gap. Yeah. I have not tried Jiper. Um, I've, I mean, we have it in the store, but I yeah. don't think we have a demo copy of it. Um, the other, there's a few good two-player games that we have yeah. down there, um, but nothing that I think is on the demo wall. Uh, Onimusha is a two-player game. Yeah, I haven't uh, played that. Which seems way intense in a strategy way. It's a yeah, chess-like game. Where the pieces. I would love to have an motion. actual quilt making competition. Oh, I would man. ace that. <laughs> yeah, quilt making competition I, um, would be fascinating. I made a quilt when I was in high school that I hand quilted, and only when I went to do the edging on it did I realize that I had messed it up. Oops, and I had to tear it out and redo you, it. You you were there for that. Yeah. Um, I, w I made a compass rose, like the quilting on the actual quilt was a compass rose, like the points and everything. And around the outside edges were the compass directions. So I had north, south, west, east. Um, and then I had, you know, northwest and northeast and southwest and southeast. I had swapped east and west in the corners because I was doing it with a quilting hoop that was about this big, so I was doing it a small section at a time. And at some point when I placed the hoop, I got turned around and forgot which direction things were in. And I hand quilted so much. Uh, I was getting graded on that. <laughs> yeah, it was a So character was, a was not what they were looking for. They were looking for perfection. Um, this was a do you graduate or not sort of situation. And uh, so I, I was ready to, to edge it and do the edging. And it was done. And it was due on Monday I mean, at I'm like 8 a.m. I'm going to take a quick glance at so, the demo wall. Sure. So keep talking for a moment. Um, right it was due at 8 a.m. on Monday morning. And I discovered this Friday afternoon. So I very quickly had to rip out like a week and a half's worth of hand stitching. And then over the course of the weekend, I uh, had to spend the entire weekend hand quilting those letters. Uh, Andy just ran downstairs, so he will fix that when he gets back because I am on the opposite side of the table and cannot fix it. It's a very large table. But yeah, it was very, Sad was the, the situation. Andy was with me that weekend. Um, Andy and I have been dating for a very long time before we got married. And uh, he was with me as I ripped out stitches and cried because I was so overwhelmed by having to undo it. So I would love to do a quilting competition. Um, I would just have to pay attention to where my stitching was going. <laughs> Maybe not do one where it mattered what corner things were in. Yeah. We will fix the crackling when Andy gets back. He's going to go look. He's looking for something to play because this didn't take too long, but I'm not really interested in playing another game. Um, yeah, Andy doesn't quilt. <laughs> I, I quilt. Andy um, told me it would all be okay and I'd be, I'd be able to finish in time. <laughs> he was very supportive. Um, we, we do game together, and I do feel like that's, I don't think we would have lasted if we didn't have a, a hobby that we could do together like this. I honestly feel feel bad whenever there are people that are hanging out in the store and are like, yeah, my wife doesn't like the game, or oh, my husband doesn't like this. And it's like, sad, sad. Um, Andy just went and grabbed Chrononauts from downstairs. <laughs> he grabbed us a copy of Chrononauts. Was that a demo copy? Apparently we have crackling, so... We need to fix that.
All right, crackling should be taken care of. Yeah, gaming. And I'm back. It's you know what? I love having this hobby with Andy, and I love that we've started streaming because streaming with Andy means that we get to play games every week. Thank you. So yeah, it's a so built-in game date. It's awesome. And it means that we sometimes get to hang out with our friends. Well, you um, know, every person. Friday we get to hang out with our friends. That's true, but our I, friends I, I was saying sometimes we get to play the games with yeah, our friends. Yeah, that's true. And sometimes it's just the two of us and our chat. Um, both of which are very cool. Uh, the under box is under the lamp up there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the lamp. I needed to get the lamp we'll, out of shot. Yeah, so. we have an extra light to illuminate down here. Lighting is the next thing on our shopping list, Lighting is but I am the much, next thing. I am very much liking our new overhead camera. Yeah, the new overhead camera is a lot better. So can we set the timeline up here facing that way so yeah. that the chat can read it? Yeah. I don't know if it'll be legible at this distance with this camera, but... So, um, question for those watching in the chat. Um, do you guys know Chrononauts at all? If you do, super. If you don't, let us know, and we'll explain it. This is one of our favorite games. Yeah, we have we have loved this game for a, a long time. Uh, um, I am a huge, huge fan of anything time travel related. Same. So, yeah, this game really appeals to me on that level. This you game... You want to pass me the timeline and I'll start... Put yeah, I'm, I'm making sure I have it all because oh, okay. um, it's all like broken up into different. Yes, that should be the whole timeline. Okay. Here we have our personalities and we've got our actions. Yeah, the cards so, are pretty small, so that is. Yeah. Uh, I'll zoom in on it a bit. Cool. Um, Chrononauts is a game about time travel. Uh, I'm going to switch cameras to the zoom camera, and you can show off the cards on the stream and explain cool. a little about how it works, and I'll try and get this a little bit larger for the stream so they can see the timeline. Ooh, what are you playing, Sith One? Out of curiosity. And I will explain Chrononauts. So Amanda has demoed this a lot. I've played this game a great We brought it amount. to PAX East last year and Amanda spent a good portion of taxis demoing this game. Um, I, I did tell Chase that I would be able to uh, so Amanda, the, I'd be uh, able to do that. The dock camera is the primary camera now. Awesome. Okay, so um, oh my god, Life is Strange is so good. Yeah. It's so good. Um, I haven't I haven't played Life is Strange. I've watched a bunch of like Let's Plays for it, um, and I love it. I think it's really awesome. I've seen the prequel game played a little bit, but not all the way through, um, where you're playing as uh, Chloe. Awesome, Sith one, so will we. We will definitely be at PAX East. We have our yeah, hotel room is our jam. already set and everything. Um, so the way Chrononauts works, is that you have a timeline. I'm moving here so that you can see the timeline. This is the timeline. And you'll notice um, things like uh, Nixon resigning in 1974 and John Lennon getting murdered in 1980, um, Reagan getting wounded in 81, the Challenger exploding in 86, Lincoln being assassinated in 1865. These are all things that happen in our timeline. I've heard that, but still, I, I you know, it's hard to come to meet the the level of um, life is strange. Um, but so there are all these different things that happen. You'll notice some of the cards are blue and some are purple. The um, 
blue ones are, the purple ones are linchpins, which means that they can happen one of two ways. So Lincoln getting assassinated, if you sw switch this card to its other side, it becomes a sort of salmon-y color, salmon pink, and Lincoln only gets wounded. Now that means that things that happened in 1868 and then something that happens in 1974 no longer happen the way that they happened in our timeline. So the idea is now I get to look at uh, 1868. Well, what happened in 1868? Andrew Johnson got impeached. Well, if Lincoln was wounded instead of um, assassinated, that's not going to happen. But instead, nothing is happening. We have a paradox. This hasn't happened, but nothing has happened in its place. So in your deck of cards, you have a number of other things that can happen in place of the things, I'm looking for the one for that year. Of course, it would be at the very bottom of the pile. There we go. So what's gonna happen is, if I come up with the right card in the deck, I can patch that, uh, that paradox. And now, instead of Abraham Lincoln getting assassinated in 1868, he got impeached. Now, why would we do this, is the question. Um, you know, aside from being like, let's, let's keep Lincoln from dying, um, or let's kill Hitler. Um, though Andy and I always do try to kill Hitler, regardless of whether the timeline needs it or not. Just on general principle. Timeline always needs Hitler to die. Sorry, Hitler. Um, so the reason sorry. you're trying to do this is because you are a time traveler. You might be, um, actually we'll save Squadron, you might be Oliver. Now you'll notice Oliver has a little bit of story down here, and he has three points on the timeline here. Two are orange, one is blue. So that means he needs one thing in our timeline to happen as it did in our version of the timeline. And then he needs two other things to happen differently. Most of the cards in the timeline uh, only have back to the other camera now. Sure, only have one that. other way that they can happen. Um, however, 19 1962, I think, has several different outcomes. Um, or no, 45 has different outcomes. Um, you can have world peace. We, we try to have world peace as a matter of course. We like to end the game with world peace. Um, so Oliver needs, in 1917, instead of the US declaring war on Germany, he needs uh, President Wilson to keep right the US out of the war. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, in 1929, he still needs the stock market to crash, so okay. And in 1974, he needs President Martin Luther King Jr. to take office. There we are. The now way we have the to do these up. is by flipping the linchpins that cause 1917 and 1974 to flip. So the way we do that I um, mean, there are other time travelers. So there's Gunther. Um, Gunther and Oliver both need 1917 to flip. Um, you have Squaw Trant. He's one of my favorites. He is a sentient cockroach from the future who needs World War III to happen. Oh, I don't have the document camera up. Hang on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm showing things it. to the document camera, and we can't uh, see any back. of it. It's a very cool game, Seth. When we love this game. Um, so Squatron needs um, the Great Depression to happen. He needs a Zeppelin factory to open in Seoul in 1950. And he needs World War III to happen in 1962. Yeah, the World War III is the tricky bit. World War III is bad um, for a number of reasons. One, it's World War III. But two, it also means that the timeline ends in 1962 which we're not thrilled about. Yeah. Um, but Squatrant needs the Zeppelin factory to open in Seoul, whereas Gunther needs Seoul to be captured by North Korea. 
Those are in direct opposition to each other. Which means that if we are playing competitively and I'm playing Squatrant and Andy is playing Gunther, we have a problem. Because I want the timeline in one way and Andy wants it in another way. That's the best I think we're going to get. Uh, you do right. have document camera now. Cool. So we've got Squatrant here. And we've got Gunther. So yeah, a little frustrating there. Now, we don't tend to play competitively that much. We play co-op. Because the game does come with a solitaire version. Yeah. Um, and that is, instead of each person playing an opposing time traveler, you lay out eight time travelers and try to get them all home as a, a pair. Um, and it's quite challenging. About it's half the time really we manage challenging, to do it. really challenging, yeah. Um, it's really hard to do. So I figured we could do that on stream and sure. give folks a sense for how it works. And the way you do things is you have these yellow action cards um, that let you change history around. This one is a reverse fate, so it flips this way to this way or this way back to this way. If you have flipped this and patched this, if you then flip this back, the this flips back off. Yeah. And the patch gets discarded. So you'll see how it works. You also quickly, have some specific things like prevent assassination that only works on certain cards. Now, if we were playing competitively, we would also Do you want have. Me to shuffle that deck up? Sure, yeah. Watch while I show off these. Um, if you're playing competitively, you might find yourself with your timeline impossible to achieve, which means that there are alternate win conditions. You can have a secret mission to collect certain artifacts from the past. Uh, so this one is Articles of Faith. So you have to collect the Crown of Thorns, the Lost Ark of the Covenant, and videotapes of the creation of the universe. <laughs> you know, like you do. Um, there's Cretaceous Park. And you have to bring back a bunch of dinosaurs. Um, so those missions you get dealt out at the beginning of the, the game. So you have an, your time traveler has an alternate condition. You also get action cards like time warps that are like fast forward, memo from your future self. Um, there are action cards like discontinuity. And get there first. I'm going to shuffle up the time travelers and cool. draw eight yeah. randomly. And then there are the artifacts. So like the Beatles reunion album, Purple Submarine. I think it's Purple Submarine. Yeah. If only. Yeah. Um, it can't be played or stolen unless John Lennon lives. Um, the Cure for Cancer, an easy to swallow tablet form. Stuff like that. Um, my personal favorite artifacts are the Mona Lisas. Yes. And what I love about these is that there's the Mona Lisa, the real thing. Get a nice close up yep. of her. All right. Perfectly there's fine, the... right? There's the excellent forgery. And if you look close, you can see she's winking. And then the, the obvious forgery, forgery <laughs> where she has a mustache. So let's see who our time travelers are. Yeah, let's take a look. Though so if we get Squatrant, I usually re redraw for him because playing him in solitaire is a giant pain in the butt. Yeah, he always has to go home last. Yeah, you can't do him at any... I mean, you could send him home first and then just reflip and get yeah, rid of it, but it's kind tough. of a pain. All right, so here are our time travelers, and do you want to just lay them out on the document sure. cam? Sure. So if you're playing uh, solitaire, you're not playing with the alternate wing conditions. You're not playing with the... Because Actions part of the, of the art of artifacts and stuff is that you're stealing the artifacts from people and trading them around, and you have the secret missions. You also don't know who your opponent's time travelers are. Yep, so they're so you affecting... don't know what they're trying to get, what state they're trying to get the board to. Exactly. So we have our action deck. Yep. Um, how many do we draw out for a solitaire oh, game? I want to say it's five, but I could be wrong. 
It could be three, which would be really horrible. So we have Yitzhak. Uh, Yitzhak is, um, he needs 1918 to be Europe in ruins after World War I. But in 1942, he needs the Nuremberg race laws to be repealed. And in 1995, he needs David Koresh's ministry to open a hospital. Um, this is a Looney Labs game. It's put out by the same folks who put out uh, Flux, or all the Fluxin. We have Fruit Basket, who needs 1868 Solonox. to happen differently. Uh, so Abraham Lincoln needs to be impeached. In 1933, he needs the mild recession instead of the Great Depression, but he still needs the Challenger to explode. Five cards. Five cards, okay, much easier. Rainbow needs uh, Israel to be founded in 1948, needs the Vietnam Peace Accord to be signed in 1968, and marijuana to be legalized in 1986, well ahead of its time. And there's fantastic flavor text on all they these cards. They all have Let's stories. Let's shift everything up a bit so that the, sure. uh, the corner knots are slightly on um, camera. They won't there be all are camera. also a couple of expansions. There's uh, Chrononauts Early America, which extends the timeline back this way. Yeah, um, which you can you can play solo, like you can play it by itself, or you can add its timeline to this timeline and mush all the cards together. And some of the action cards have like notes about what else they affect. Um, it also there's um, lost identities, and that adds another like I want to say ten characters or something to it, so you get a bunch more time travelers. There we go. Um, including my very favorite. The one who needs uh, 13 paradoxes, which explodes yes, the timeline. Yes, he lives at the Tiki universe, at, or the Tiki, the tiki hut, hut at the end at of the, the end universe. Of the universe. Um, generally, if you have 13 unpatched paradoxes, everyone loses. Because yeah. you've blown up the timeline. Um, so yeah, Gunther needs the U.S. to keep, uh, Wilson to keep the U.S. out of the war, the European economy to boom, and Seoul to be captured by North Korea. Renee needs U.S. to declare war on Germany, so she's in direct opposition to Gunther there. Wow, that's tough. Yep. Yeah. Um, in 1929, she needs the Titanic to explode. Instead of sinking. Yeah, it doesn't sink. It avoids the iceberg, but then it explodes. Yes. And it exploded. We have this in store. We also have the uh, early American version in store. We also have the lost identities and... The gore years? We have the gore years. Yeah. Um, which is an extension of the timeline out this year that t uh, out here that takes us up to like 2003, I think, or something like that. And it posits if gore won the election. In our personal copy at home... We, we have a bonus card that was sent as a Christmas card from yes. Looney Labs one year, signed by Kirsten, Kirsten Looney, Looney, which is awesome. Yeah, she came by uh, the Battleground booth last year at PAX East, and she came by like before the hall opened and we were setting up and getting ready. And I was like, oh, I see a woman wearing a lot of tie-dye. That's Kristen Looney. <laughs> Um, she's very recognizable. Cool and remote, Sithwin. Where'd you get that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, she signed my, my extra special dinosaur card. Um, Squatrant. So we did get the... Uh, do you want to yeah, mulligan he's that? He's just so okay. hard to, do, to deal we'll with. replace him with Werner. Oh, Werner. Werner, lo Werner loves German cake. So when I was demoing this at PAX East, I used to just draw out three time travelers okay. and try and get Much one easier. of the three home because yeah. I found that eight was a little overwhelming for people. Um, but Werner was one of my, my favorite ones to pull out as a demo one because fairgoers love German cake. It's, one of his, yeah. it's just one of the silliest things in the game. That's the alternative to... <laughs> That's uh, uh, 1939. Germany invades Poland? Yeah. So yeah. Germany doesn't invade Poland. Instead, everyone goes to the World's Fair and loves German cake. I far prefer that to Germany yeah, invading Poland. a nicer Poland. timeline. Yeah. Um, so President Martin Luther King takes office, and then the Soviet Union collapses. Werner was always a good one to bring out. I used to do uh, Werner... I think Renee and maybe Oliver were my, my go-tos. Um, Timmy, the European economy needs to boom instead of Europe being in ruins after World War I. Uh, we still need D-Day to happen. And guns need to be banned in 1999. This is always tricky. Man. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, Mr. X, the Zeppelin factory needs to open in Seoul in 1950. MLK and RFK both do need to be murdered, unfortunately. 
Um, and in 1995, David Koresh's ministry needs to open a hospital, which it matches up with uh, Yitzhak here. All right. Which is so nice. Before we start doing yeah. anything. VIP status, you got, yeah. <laughs> um, got before it. we start doing anything, yeah. we need to sort of, well, let's look at what five, what five options we have. Yeah, let's look at that. So the goal of Solitaire is to get all eight of these folks home before we run out of cards in that deck. Yeah. And it's tough. It's, it's hard. It's tough. So we'll see how many we can get home tonight. We need to keep the Vietnam Peace Corps Accord because Rainbow needs it. Do we need marijuana? Oh, God, Rainbow needs both of these. Well, I feel like we need to get Rainbow yeah, home Rainbow's first. Yeah, Rainbow's going then. home first because yeah. we've got the patches that she needs. And then we have these three cards. We have two reverse fates and a prevent assassination. All right, so what? Well, we can use the prevent assassination to stop John Lennon from dying. I like that. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. And also, we're going to need guns banned later, and that also flips that. All right, so, so. we're going to prevent John Lennon's assassination. Yep, John Lennon's going to live. So now what happens instead? So in 1986... Well, no, the, read John well, yeah. Lennon's... So uh, it says, mysterious hero intervenes in street attack on Rockstar, then disappears into Central Park. John Lennon nearly, nearly killed. Nearly killed. Um, and it ripples 1986 and 1999. So we've so got two paradoxes the on the The Challenger is no longer exploding. And the Soviet um, Union... So we are going to oh, need no. to undo that later in because of fruit, fruit Basket. Yep. The Columbine High School massacre is no longer happening. Doesn't happen. Okay. Um, now we will need to undo this later. Yeah. Because, or actually no, this doesn't flip right away because we need to kill Reagan ah. to do that. Okay. So that's okay because the Challenger needs to explode for Fruit Basket. All right. So, so we are going to need to do it. But we may be able, depending on what we get, to do Fruit Basket before we do that. So we flipped 1999. Yes. Is that what we wanted to flip? It isn't, but it's okay because we do need it flipped later. And I don't think we need what it is, regular. Let's, let's rewind a little bit. What we're trying to get is 1995 no. reversed, right? We're looking at Rainbow because those are the oh, two okay. patches we drew right away. But 68 also... 68 and 86 prime. Right. But because that was the, we had a prevent assassination. So when you have specific cards like prevent assassination or prevent sabotage, um, you want to make sure you use those when you can instead of wasting a reverse fate that can be used on anything. Um, I feel like Rainbow needs to go home early. Yeah. But we might want to see if we can get if we can get these patches, get Fruit Basket done before Rainbow because we'll need to undo the Challenger. We need to undo this and this. Like, we have to do both of these. Yeah. Okay. And that makes the Challenger flip if we can do that first and then flip that. See what I mean? All right, so... We'll see. So I feel like those two... You're thinking maybe Fruit Basket? So 68 is uh, MLK, MLK and RFK, RFK both murdered. And we that do need... That is rippled by JFK's assassination. Maybe we should have prevented his assassination instead of Lennon's. Oh, maybe. Let's do that. So yeah, let's do that. Let's reset. Alright, so... Alright, let's prevent Kennedy. Instead of Kennedy assassinated, JFK injured in motorcade shooting. Yeah. Doctors predict full recovery. Now that ripples three things. The thing is, yeah. we're going to need to undo that too. Because yeah. of Mr. X. Eventually. Yeah. So that's going to ripple 1968. Yep. That's a paradox. Yep. Uh, this is or. Yep, so, so that flips. the Apollo 11 lands on the moon is no longer happening. But that does not flip because we haven't that flipped Lincoln. requires both Lincoln and JFK. And that's it. That's the three. Okay. So now we need to patch 1968. Well, we can do that right away. We've got a patch up. You Excellent. get to draw two more cards. Yep. So we now have a restore so history we and another have restore history. 1968 Prime. Yep. We have 1948 regular. So we need to do 1986. Or 1933 prime. Now we have the 1986 patch. Yes. So what flips 86? 
That's both Lenin and Reagan. Okay. Now we drew two restore histories, which I kind of hate. Yeah. They're I mean, not we're as useful. Need them later. But they're not useful now, and they're taking no. up space in our hand. I feel like we need to like ditch one of them well, to draw want, a card. Do you want to flip Lenin now? I feel like um, we should Reagan? use a reverse fate on Reagan. Okay. Because we can use a prevent assassination on Lenin if we draw that. All right. So reverse fate, Reagan. Instead of Reagan wounded, Reagan assassinated. assassinated. President survived shooting only to die on uh, the operating table. Those darn so, time travelers. All yeah. right, so that ripples 86 and 91. So the Challenger hasn't exploded yet, but so 91, the Soviet Union is not going to collapse. Okay. We now have two paradoxes on the board. Yeah, and we, we do need the Soviet Union to collapse. And we don't need it not collapsed. Right. Like, we don't need its patch, so. Um, so I'm going to draw a card. It's another reverse fate. Okay, good. So I think Lenin is the next yeah, flip? Yeah, let's do Lenin. So we reverse fate Lenin. So now the Challenger is not going to explode. Because that's... Yep. And in 99, the Columbine Massacre doesn't happen. All right. Place your patch. Marijuana is going to get legalized in 1986. And that is going to send Rainbow home. Oh, yay, Rainbow. Congratulations. Rainbow has gone okay, home. Okay. Here's the rest of the time travelers. Yeah. Okay. That's one done. All right. Now, where do we stand on Fruit Basket? We well, get two let's more cards. take two more. Uh, ah. We do not need World War Three. Nope, we can just toss that right away. Do we need the European economy to boom in 1918? Yes. Yes, we do. So let's keep that. We'll draw we'll draw a replacement card. A reverse fate. All right. So here's the thing. Do we need marijuana legalized for anyone else? Um, I don't think so. Do we need guns banned? Yes. Okay, so we need to keep 99 flipped. Yes. So that's Lenin, so we need to keep Lenin alive. Uh, this is the one that needs European economy booms and yeah. guns banned. So Timmy might be the next one we get home if we can get European economy booms, which is somewhere in that so, deck. Uh, we have European oh, oh, economy booms. If we can get guns banned, right? which is somewhere in that deck. Um, it means we'll need to undo it for Yitzhak, yeah. but that's okay. So should I restore history on Reagan? Well, what do we need to get to... European economy? 18, 1918. I just want to get these restore histories out of our hand because they're not as useful, okay. is my thing. So let's, if we don't need this, let's undo it now and see it's what comes undo out. undo this and this. Yep. Does anybody need 91 Prime? No. No. Okay, fine. Yeah. All right, so, so unassassinate Reagan. He survives. Okay. I don't really have that much ill will against the guy. I do. But he was instrumental in the AIDS crisis. That's true. Anyways. A lot of people died. Reagan survives. So we're going to draw a card. It's a reverse fate. All right. So now. Let's start setting ourselves up for some stuff. Yeah. Um... European economy booms is 1918. Yeah. Do we have 1918? This also needs European economy booms. Gun yep. Yitzhak have, needs 1918 regular, which we can undo later. the rest later. of his stuff is stuff that we're yeah. miles from having. Yeah. 1942 is such a linchpin. 1942 is, is tough. Um, basically, we just need to kill Hitler, though. Yeah. All right. So let's work on flipping 18. Because D Day. That's paradoxed if Archduke Ferdinand honestly, is not assassinated. Andy, hold yeah. on a second. Yeah. We can just kill Hitler. I'm okay with this. We can, because the only person who has anything on here that happens in the 40s, pr on not prime, is Timmy, and he's got D Day, and that needs both Hitler alive. And he needs um, Pearl Harbor bombed by the Japanese. So we can kill Hitler and leave Pearl Harbor. 
and he still has D-Day happening. Where's D-Day? Okay. Flips if it's an Hitler ant. and Pearl Harbor. Okay. So we can kill Hitler and that doesn't preclude Timmy going home. I don't have anything at all against killing Hitler. Let's kill Hitler. That's a reverse fate. Hitler is dead. We killed Hitler! Kill us. This and was a always whole a big moment. A bunch of stuff happens. <gasps> World peace, Andy! Oh man, we need to hang on to that. All right, I so don't know. what happens when Hitler flips? All right, so Hitler flips 1939. Germany is not invading Poland. Okay, paradox. Which we actually need to, because we need uh, fairgoers to love German yeah. hate. Um, the final uh, solution is not going to be undertaken. Thank goodness for that. Yes. All right, so that's a 44 does there. not ripple because we haven't stopped Pearl Harbor yet. Correct. Um, but A-bombs ah. no longer get dropped on Japan because this is an or, or, or. Yep. So that's nice. Yep. And Israel is no longer founded. Because the Holocaust did not happen. All right. So we now have four, five, six paradoxes on the board. A lot We're of okay. paradoxes. We unfortunately cannot put out world peace because world peace can't go into effect if Pearl Harbor happens. Yeah. So we need to get Timmy home before we can have world peace. Shall we... Uh, Flip 1918 so that we can boom the European economy. Sure, we can always bust that it again. That requires Archduke Ferdinand to not be assassinated. Sure. Reverse fate. Archduke Ferdinand survives. Injured bodyguard is still missing. All right, so that flips 1918. European economy is going to boom. Yes, patch, patch, patch that paradox. There we go. So that helps both Timmy and Gunther. Yeah. So we Gunther needs Wilson to keep the U.S. out of the war, which we don't have as a patch yet. Right. Um, I also need uh, the Titan. I have the Titanic exploding. Does the Titanic explode for anyone? Uh, yes, Renee. Okay. What else does Renee need? Berlin to host the World's Fair, and she also needs the U.S. to declare war on Germany. Which is not happening right now? No, it is happening right now. It's that um, Gunther needs it to not happen. Gotcha. Yeah. Tricky. Tricky. All right. This so is what makes it hard. What patches we have? We have Warsaw host the Olympic Games, which... Timmy needs to not happen. No one needs it, so All I right, can so discard it. so let's discard that and draw a card. Berlin hosts the World's Fair ah. in 1948, which we can immediately put out, because we had already put that. <gasps> and fairgoers love German cake, Andy! Yay! Go fairgoers! Okay, so actually, I think All 1939... Right, booms. 39. Oh, okay. Right? Fairgoers 74? love German cake. Uh, no, we haven't flipped nope. 74. Nope. Okay. Close, though. All right, so Europe European economy booms. D-Day, we don't have guns banned. No. Wilson keeps... Nope. Nope. Um, the Nuremberg race laws have not been repealed yet, and Koresh's hospital isn't open. Well, we've got yeah. a lot of patches out there. Sabotage. Yeah, it's so oh many God, paradoxes, sabotage. it's not good. <laughs> All right, so we do need the Titanic to explode for somebody. Yes, we do. Who needs that? 1929. Berlin holds World's Fair. Yep. Is out. Yep, it's happening. Uh, and the U.S. US declares, declares war, war on Germany. Germany is, yeah, it's right there, yep. 1917. So uh, we need to make so the Titanic, Titanic blow explodes up. is Titanic sinks, which means... 29 and 33. Three. So that's the Great Depression, but that's an and. We would need to sink. We'd need to keep the Lusitania afloat okay. to flip this. But that's fine. That's fine because that's not what we need to patch. We need to patch the stock market crash. Right. Which is yeah. That's what we need. That would get her home. All right. So let's reverse the sinking of the Titanic. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, reverse fate. Reverse fate. Okay. That and that's going to flip flips 1929. Crash. Does not flip the Great Depression because, because the, the Great Lusitania Depression. hasn't sank. Later, Sithwin. Thank you for, joining, for joining us. us. And We're thank you fun. for subbing. Yeah, thank you so much for the Prime sub. That was yeah. awesome. Have good food. 
Right, um, so, so explode the Titanic. Yeah, let's blow up the Titanic. Kapow. Steamship sinks after striking derelict mine. Rough. All right, so who goes home? Renee. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So U.S. declares war on Germany, yes. Yep. Uh, the Titanic explodes. And Berlin, Berlin hosts, hosts the World's, the World's Fair. Fair. Excellent. All right. All right, we're making progress. You All drew right. a new Abraham card, Lincoln impeached. Which is... Yeah. There for fruit basket. But we also need the mild recession. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um, I also drew Allied troops invade Tokyo, which I don't think anyone needs. Um, no, nobody needs that. Excellent. So toss it. Draw a new card. Nazis win. No. Hell no. Not happening. David Koresh's ministry opens a new hospital, which we do need. No, it's 95. Oh, it's 95. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the alternative for the Oklahoma City bombing. I don't think anyone that? needs the Oklahoma City bombed. No. Who I needs David Koresh? Uh, Yitzhak over here. Oh, he's, he's the one who needs the... Uh, European economy in ruins. Yeah. I mean, we can patch this. The, the, the only thing this ripples is that. Okay. But we don't have Nobody an action needs the Oklahoma City bombing. Nobody needs the Oklahoma City bombing, but okay. I already got rid of that. Yeah. And I don't have a card that can make that happen. This is why yeah. I hate Restore Histories. All right, so we have to either use a Restore History, use a Sabotage, or get rid of World Peace. Does anyone else need the European economy to boom? Uh, yes. We need Guns Band um, to get Timmy home. Does anyone, need the, does anyone else need the Titanic to explode? Um... No. Let's undo that then. Well, the other thing is, um, can you do that with a sabotage? Because that's a, a more limited no. card. Okay, so we'll restore history. It's the Titanic avoids iceberg. Yep. The Titanic sinks. Okay. This goes in the discard. Communism reinvents itself. I oh, wait a second, wait a second, that. wait a second. What, what, it Go didn't back. change that. But we need that to happen. We need the mild res mild recession, right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We can redo the Titanic because we don't need that patch anymore. Okay, that's So fair. we might as well. Okay. What did you draw? I drew communism reinventing itself, which I don't think we need. Mm, no, nobody needs that. Reverse fate, thank goodness. Okay. All right, so now we're going to reverse fate on the Waco compound. Okay. In 93. So instead of the Waco compound burns to the ground, Waco standoff diffused peacefully. Tanks withdrawn from area. Yep. That reverses this. Oklahoma City bombing is now paradox. Becomes David Koresh's ministry opens a new hospital. Free clinic serves Waco and nearby Texas communities. That was nice of Koresh. Yeah. And somebody goes home? Uh, David Koresh's ministry? No, because we need to repeal the, like this one. What's that one over there? We need the Zeppelin factory. Yeah. And we need MLK and RFK to live. Like both of the people who need that are a pain. Wow. Yeah, I know. And unfortunately, I have three really annoying cards that are very specific. Okay, uh, who's halfway home? European economy booms. Yeah. Uh, European economy booms. Does anyone need 1868 yeah. not prime? Oh, not prime. Uh, if we assassinate, if we keep Lincoln alive, what does that... Uh, we need MLK and RFK murdered. Yeah, but we already, we already saved JFK over there. Um, and Nixon resigning, I don't think anyone needs specifically, because we're going to have to undo that. Okay. But we're going to have to undo that anyway. So you're going to prevent like an this, assassination? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to flip this. And 1974, because these are now both prime. Yep. Because I don't think anyone needs 1974 not prime. Are you going to put in place Abraham Lincoln impeached? Yes, I am. And then draw two cards? Yep. 
Cosmonauts orbit the moon, yeah. and the Nuremberg race laws are repealed. Somebody needed that? Yes, someone definitely needed no, you that. you just drew from the discard. Yeah, I did. Prevent us. It was the same card. What a mess. Okay. All right. So, so, but here's the thing. Yeah. If we undo Europe in ruins, oh crud! No, we need the European economy to boom for a little bit longer until we can ban guns. Yeah. I think we may have to. But it's okay. Go. He's halfway home. Okay. I think everybody's halfway home now. We need the mild recession. We need. Um, Guns to be banned. Okay. Is Wilson keeping the U.S. out of war yet? No. No. I think 17. Yeah. Do we have the mild recession? No, we don't have the mild recession yet. Yeah, that replaces 33, right? Yeah. So we need to do the Lusitania in, right? Yeah, do we, we do. Have a means of getting rid of the Lusitania. We have a sabotage. Doesn't that fit the Lusitania? No, because the Lusitania sinks. Sabotage uh, is a one way. Yeah. It only makes something happen that... Yeah. Oh, no. Halt attack. Okay. Because the Lusitania was an attack. So, so halt attack. Steamship escapes to harm despite submarine blockade. Ripples 1917 and 1933. So that's this, and that this is This doesn't flip now because we, because we did a Titanic. Titanic. Yeah. But that's fine. I don't have 1917. Does anyone need cosmonauts to orbit the moon? Oh, good question. Um, I don't think so. No. President King takes office. We do need. Fairgoers love German cake? Uh, yes. President King takes office? You just put that in place? Soviet Union collapses? Uh, yes. Werner's home. Yay, Werner! Go home, Werner! Okay, so that frees up some stuff. <coughs> that was one of the fairgoers loves German cake. The other one is... No, Are we don't have home? anyone else. The fairgoers, yeah, fairgoers only... Only Werner cared about fairgoers loving German cake. Okay. Um, we need the mild recession. Right, which replaces the Great Depression, which means we need to flip the Titanic again. Right. We need the European economy to boom, and we also need Wilson to keep the U.S. out of war. We don't have the patch for U.S. keep stays out of war. Um, I feel like we need to get rid of either a sabotage or a prevent assassination, because we need patches at this point. Yeah. And I'm afraid to flip anything else and play around with it. Okay. I think we just need to get rid of one of these cards. And I feel like this, this sabotage is, is less, useful. less useful because it affects fewer things. Wilson keeps the U.S. out of the war. Oh, that was convenient. So that's 1917. In 1918, the European economy is booming. And in 1950, Seoul is captured by North Korea. Gunther gets to go home now. Congratulations, Gunther. Yay, Gunther. Yay. All right, so We've let's see who half else we of have. Our crew home. Yeah. All right, European economy booms. Yep. D Day. We still don't have guns banned, but we have this flipped. Well, Tokyo is not getting nuked. No, that's not happening. Hey, guns can get banned now. Guns banned. Timmy goes home. Timmy goes home. All right, so we need to open a Zeppelin factory in Seoul. Mm hmm. We need MLK and RFK to be assassinated. Unfortunate. And we need to keep the Koresh Hospital. So the Koresh Hospital can stay no matter what. Yes. Um, we need the Nuremberg race laws repealed, which we have. Uh, 1918, I think we can unflip safely okay. because I don't think either of these guys need it. It's only, the only thing that is affected by it is Ferdinand getting assassinated. Okay. So if we re-assassinate him, that will unflip 1918. Do you have an assassination? I, I have a prevent assassination. See, this is why I hate yeah, these one-way cards. Yeah, we don't need that card. So but we'll use a reverse fate. Let's get rid of the prevent assassination. We're not going to use that. We're low on cards, Andy. Yeah. Zeppelin factory is open in Seoul. I That's have. That's Mr. X. But we don't have 50 flipped yet. So let's 
What do we need to do to flip 50? We need to flip the Hindenburg exploding. So we can reverse fate on the Hindenburg in 1937. Does anybody need the Hindenburg to explode? Well, it's not the Hindenburg exploding that yeah. happens. It's what happens in 1950. It's Seoul, Seoul being captured, captured by North Nobody Korea. Needs that. We already sent home the person who needed that. Excellent. So, flips, so we flip that. We patch that. Patch that. Ugh, we are low on cards. All right, so who goes home now? Uh, so Zeppelin factory opened in Seoul. Yep. MLK and RFK are not currently murdered. Uh, Koresh's ministry, yes. Yes. All right, What? who else do we have? We need the mild recession, which is probably this card. All right, so let's dis discard something. A discard avert, and avert disaster. disaster. Yeah, it doesn't actually help us. Last card. All right, mild recession in 1933. We need to make it happen. So here's the problem. Yeah. We need to make that happen, and we only have two reverse fates. We can't do this. All right, so... Because we need to undo a thing. Avert disaster on the Titanic. Yes. Okay. Titanic flips. Yep. 1929 flips. Stock market crashes. Nobody That's fine. needs that. Uh, Great Depression. Right, because Lusitania is yep. flipped. Yep. So the mild recession is happening. Okay, so. Abraham Lincoln has been impeached and the Challenger is exploding. Okay. Fruit basket is home. Um, Europe is not in ruins. But Nuremberg race laws have been repealed, and Koresh's ministry opens the hospital. So if we can undo 1918, Yitzhak goes, goes home. home. And what does he need? He needs MLK 1968. And RFK murdered. Yep. All right. So what flips 1918? 1918 flips from 1914. Ferdinand unharmed. So we can rekill Ferdinand with this. Okay. That. Gets rid of that. Yeah. All right. So now. Yitzhak goes home. Europe is in ruins. Nuremberg race laws are repealed. Yep. And Koresh's ministry is open to hospital. Yes. Sweet. Now, Mr. X needs MLK and RFK to be murdered. Yeah. So that means we. reverse one of them. We're, that's. We just need to un no. If we do this, that's the same card. If we unflip whatever yep. is flipping that, or we, if we unflip this, then that undoes the one that 1968. All right, let's Reverse fate on 63. Yep. Yep. That gets rid of that. So ML, so the Zeppelin factory is open in Seoul. Does anything else flip from Kennedy assassinated? Uh, 68? 68, 69 uh, reflips. And 74 is a twofer. It, no, it's either or. Oh, okay. Okay. So Zeppelin factory opened in Seoul. MLK and RFK murdered. Mm -hmm. Koresh's hospital. We got him home. Every single person home. We didn't get we, to do world we peace. We didn't get world peace. If we had had one more reverse fate, we could have ended the game by stopping the bombing on world on Pearl Harbor. Where does world peace go? 1945? 45 is flipped. Yes, but we can't do it. If both, of, if either of those are black, oh, it's conditional. Oh, actually, it's patch, we had an avert disaster earlier that we discarded. Do you want to just do it? So if we had used that, is this a disaster? Oh no, it's not. It's a, it's yeah. prevent attack that it would need to be. Well, I mean, we did it. We did we it. We did it. We got everybody home. We did. Shall we look at the final timeline? So in our so final what timeline, in this final timeline, which is Mr. X's final timeline. Yeah. So um, in the final timeline, Lincoln was wounded in 1865. In 1868, um, but then he, got impeached. he was impeached. The Titanic avoided an iceberg, yep. which is pretty awesome. And then nothing happened to it later because we had to get rid of that patch. Um, Archduke Ferdinand was assassinated, just like in our life. Yep. 
But the Lusitania arrived safely. It yep. did not get get attacked. And Wilson kept the U.S. out of World War One. Yep. And then Europe, unfortunately, was still in ruins after World War One. Yep. There's um, a paradox here. But then the mild recession happened instead of the Great Depression. Sounds nice. Yeah. Um, we killed Hitler. Yeah, Hitler was assassinated by a mystery individual. We're very happy about that. Um, the bomb was found on the Hindenburg, so it didn't blow up. Fairgoers love German cake. Yay, fairgoers. Because we killed Hitler. So guess what? Got to have a World's Fair in Germany, and Germany was not a hellscape. Pearl Harbor was still bombed by the Japanese. Which really sucks. But then the Nuremberg race laws were repealed. Because we killed Hitler. Yep. Uh, the Manhattan Project did still happen um, it, pr in response yep. to the Japanese bombing Pearl Harbor. And D-Day still happened. Yeah. yeah. 1945 is paradox. Yeah, we would have liked to have world peace if we had had re maybe one more card, um, one more reverse fate. And we paradox. could have uh, so stopped close. Pearl Harbor from being attacked. And if we had done that, we could have had world peace, which would have been pretty cool. But uh, Berlin hosted the World's Fair, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And a Zeppelin factory got opened in Seoul in Korea. Also cool. Yeah. Uh, Sputnik was launched. Which normally. Is, yeah. Cuban Missile Crisis We did crisis have the Cuban normally. Missile Crisis, yeah. Kennedy still got assassinated. MLK and RFK did both get murdered, which sucks. Apollo 11 landed on the moon. Which, that's kind of cool. That's cool. Um, Nixon still resigned. Nixon resigned. John Lennon, not murdered. Yay. Yeah. Um, Reagan was wounded, um, so he did survive. The Challenger still explodes, I'm which I'm really that. sad that we, we ended a timeline with that, but yeah. The Soviet Union still collapsed, um, which really sucks for all the people who live there. But the Waco um, standoff was diffused peacefully. Yeah, so no Waco fire. As a result, David Koresh's new ministry opened a new hospital. Yeah, and uh, because John Lennon was nearly assassinated, and then, may I see the card for a moment? Yes. Because <laughs> I love this card. Um, Senator Lennon's campaign to outlaw guns results in passage of Amendment 29, which repeals the Second Amendment. Um, Kristen Looney has stated that she doesn't know what other amendments came in between, but she imagines that there were some. Yeah, Lennon was just amending the Constitution left and right. You know, because it could. I'm not entirely in op opposition to this timeline. It's not this the worst. This is not a bad timeline. Shall we read Mr. X's sure, short let's story? Read Mr. Every uh, time traveler has a short story that goes with it. Our national security is threatened by Zeppelins. The military usefulness of their Zeppelins was widely regarded as a key to the early German victories of World War II. But what if something had happened before the war that crippled the airship industry? The sabotage of the Hindenburg was intended to shorten one war, but to the time traveler's dismay, it instead triggered another Korea. So, yeah, in um, in this timeline, instead of sabotage, when they sabotage the um, the Hindenburg, the Hindenburg, when they instead said, you know, we're gonna uh, not sabotage the Hindenburg. Unfortunately, that meant that um, the Koreans decided to start building um, their own Zeppelins, Zeppelins, and that created a, a conflict later on. I love this game so in much. In the 50s. So, yeah, we always end up with a really interesting timeline. Um, if we had been playing with the uh, sentient cockroach, we would have had Squatron. to yeah. get rid of world peace and hope for World War III. So here's all the patches back. These are all time travelers. Here's another patch. Thank you. We put the timeline back in order. See, so yeah, this is a really fun game. It's really easy to like just break out and play. I love playing with the extended uh, number of characters. They're all really fun. Yeah. And they all they had, what they did was they ran a contest um, for the stories so the stories in the lost identities uh pack are all stories of like that were submitted by fans which are really cool well, well, and it is 9 30. timeline alpha yep i'm gonna swap cameras again and we're gonna talk about next week
on the podcast. Uh, so, zoop, zoop, zoop. There we go. Hi, guys. So, I actually did something I have not done before, which is that I made our poll for this week earlier. Wow. So, I already have the poll here. Let me grab it and I'll throw it in chat. Copy link. Uh, so, Amanda, do you want to show off the three games that are in our poll? I, I would, except I don't know if my mic will carry uh, that far. I'll pass them to you then. <laughs> so, we chose three games earlier from our demo wall that, n well, neither of us have played. Right. And that we felt might be fun to play on stream. So, here are our three options, and I've arranged them alphabetically. May I have them? Yeah. We have... Bunny Kingdom, which is a game about uh, a bunny kingdom, basically. Yeah, creating a kingdom, a kingdom full of bunnies. Yep, and it's got a whole bunch of little bits and pieces to it. It looks like a fun game. I've watched it played, but I haven't had a chance to play it myself. Um, we have Lotus, which again, I have watched played, but haven't had an opportunity to play. Lotus is a game about building flowers and putting bugs on them and stuff. So it's very cute. And Amanda grabbed this off the wall, which I know it nothing about. It was still about. sealed. I know nothing it's about it. It's still in its plastic wrap. Pulsar 2849. Let's see what the box says. It is the year 2849, and humanity has harnessed the power of pulsars. Now we must find a way to distribute this power throughout the stars. In this Euro-style game, players explore space, claim pulsars, and discover technologies that will help them build energy distribution infrastructure on a cosmic scale. Dice are used to purchase actions, and players choose their dice from a communal pool. There are many paths to victory, so you can blaze your own trail to a bright future. It looks very complex and cool. So, that's option number three. So oh, we don't have the doc cam up. So nope, document camera. Right never now. mind. We'll just hold that um, up. It's got a lot of like stuff on the back. So yeah. in the chat right now is the survey. So anybody who's watching, you can click on that survey and tell us what you would like of these three. What do you want us to, to see play us next play week? next week? I will also post this in the Discord and in our Facebook. So if you yeah. follow Battleground, there's a bunch of links. Right down below this, if you're watching the VOD or if you're watching live, there's links to our Discord, there's links to Facebook, and these are all great ways to keep in touch with Battleground and keep in touch with me and Amanda uh, in terms of like what we're going to be draft, what we're going to be uh, playing and stuff during the streams and things. These do have, so these two, yeah. this one, all have uh, two player variants. Ah, so if it's just us two, we'll be able to do that. Maybe Travis will be out of flu season and yeah. able to join us. That would be awesome because I've missed having Travis around. Me too. Uh, so we may have somebody else with us. We may be just us two. We will see. But in the meantime, man. Uh, so Patchwork, a problematic game. A cool game, but one that Amanda does not really enjoy. I love it in concept. In practice, I'm not into it. But then we got to play a uh, solitaire game of uh, Chrono Knots, which is one of my favorite games ever. And I can't believe our first time playing it on stream, and we got eight people home. I we did play solo on stream once. once yeah, while I was painting. Yeah. And I think I was able to get everyone home, or maybe all but one home that time. But that was a lot of fun, and I'm yeah. glad we were able to I'm do knocking that. Knocking against my mic. Sorry yeah. about that. Uh, so yeah. And we will schedule a bonus stream at some point yes. to play Cursed Court because I promised this, the chat we would do that. We're going to play Cursed Court We're on stream. Gonna. In the meantime, thank you everybody who joined us. Yeah. Thank you so much for the new subscriptions. Thank you to our subs. Yep. Thank you for the new follows. Yes. Thank you to Thunder Speaks for following. That was yeah. awesome. That was a terrific time and we look forward to streaming again next week yes so we'll see you f next friday thank you everybody for joining us and have a wonderful week bye everybody yeah, if i can just there we go bye